All right, today's Monday, and I just pulled up to tractor supply. I'm trying to find a, a tub big enough so I can fit my body in, at least um, from chest down, because I'm about to take an ice bath. Um, I'm still doing the recovery week. Uh, it's currently two o'clock, which is crazy because I went to sleep pretty late, but I woke up at seven and got up, and got a few things done, but then I felt tired, like extremely tired. And I had to go back to sleep. I think it's because of the pre-workout I'm taking. I think that's causing me to um, get sleepy or lose energy kind of fast. Um, when I take pre-workout, I don't take it. I take it like one week on and one week off. Um, or if I take it like four four days on and three days off, if I'm going to work out for the seven for seven days or six days, whatever. Um, but I think it's that. And I don't drink coffee, so I'm not a big coffee person. So I got to find something that, that wakes me up. Maybe I'll just do tea. I am a tea person. I just haven't been drinking tea like that. But I think I'm going to um, start drinking tea every morning. But yeah, other than that, we're about to go on the track supply. Oh, welcome back to my video too, by the way. But we're about to go to the track supply, and I'm about to get... Um, hopefully, I can find something big enough for me to fit in. And we're going to do this ice bath. But after we leave track supply, we're going to the gym. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kentori. Um, this week I did a 20 minute active recovery workout for the whole week just to like heal my body. I've been doing a lot of heavy lifting lately, so I needed to take time to like reset. Like I mentioned, I was gonna take the whole week off and not do nothing, but I feel like active recovery was the best route for me to take. Um, shout out to Juice and Toya. I got this workout straight off YouTube. Um, I'll put a link down below so you can follow the routine straight from the video. All right, so even though this routine is basically stretching the whole time, I wanted to get on the bicycle and loosen up before jumping right into the workout. And to be honest, I didn't like the idea of not lifting weights this week, but this 20 minute workout is not to be taken lightly. All right, so we kicked off the workout with inchworms. Um, I thought this was a good idea since it targets the full body and it's like a good full body stretch. We used to do these in college before practice or before a game, so I am familiar with this motion. And that's how I know I need to take my time when it comes to stretching and really get a good stretch in before my workouts because I notice that how stiff I am as I'm going down. And I pretty much sit at my computer all day, so I, I, I definitely need to be stretching more. All right, so next we got a deficit push-up. Um, to me, this really didn't feel like nothing but a push-up, if I'm being completely honest. I know deficit push-ups are supposed to increase your range of motion, like when you're going down to get like in a deeper push-up. I think that's why they had us lift our arms up to like simulate that movement. But yeah, this is a deficit push-up. All right, so we're gonna jump into the figure four. Now this is a workout. If I'm not mistaken, this is a shoulder routine. Um, at least that's where I felt it the most. You also get a good stretch in your shoulder blade, so make sure you squeeze at the bottom. If you've done any yoga in the past, you'll be familiar with this next one. It's called Downward Dog Cobra. It's another one of those full body routines with the focus on your back, your hamstrings, your shoulders, and your calves. With this one, you also want to take your time to prevent any injuries. That's why I recommend going back and watch the original video so you can get a better understanding of how to do each exercise. All right, so these are called Y raises. Again, you want to take your time when doing these. Um, because you do put a lot of pressure on your lower back. So what you want to do to prevent that, you want to squeeze your glutes to kind of like take some of that pressure out of the way. I also forgot to mention each workout is 60 seconds on and 20 seconds off. All right, so now we got our first stability workout. Um, it's called plank to open. Basically, you start on all fours and then you open up your hips one way and your chest and you reach for the, the ceiling. And then you go back to the normal position. And you do the same thing on the other side. Next, we got mobility squats. Again, make sure you're taking your time when you're doing each exercise. I like how they added the arm movement. Therefore, you can keep your arms engaged. I got my feet shoulder width apart, but you can go wider if you want to get like a deeper stretch. All right, next up, we got reverse lunges plus twist. This is another one of those exercises where I kind of struggled in the beginning with my balance. Your boy got to get some more stretching in. And I got to add more ab routines to my normal workout <clears throat> because it'd be low-key embarrassing when you can lift a lot of weight. But when it comes to your body weight, you're struggling. Like, come on, cuz. Like, how is that even an issue? But it'd be the fundamentals. Like, you got to get back to the basics. The basics is what's going to help you elevate even more. 
single leg hinge and reach again another one of those workouts i was struggling with um same thing another balance issue another core issue um another stretching issue that i gotta i gotta get more um equipped with so in this next half of the year i'll make it a focus to work on a lot of single leg motion movement with my legs just so i can overall become more balanced and more um efficient when it comes to my workouts All right, next up we got side squats plus toe lift. I pretty much went a whole week doing this exercise the wrong way. In the reference video, they instruct you to keep your weight on the inside heel of the leg that you're leaning on. But for some reason, I missed that part and yeah, I ended up doing it wrong, but I still feel the workout. Now this is my first time doing seated squats intentionally. Like I never really did this as a workout. Um, but I felt the benefits of it, like as the week progressed, my next goal is to be able to sit down completely. So I need to increase that range of motion in my quads and in my hips. All right, we got glute bridges plus knee hugs. So with this, you want to try to keep the weight in your heels and engage your glutes at the same time. A reason why I chose to do active recovery workouts is because you get the benefits of stretching, but it also makes it a challenge. And because you have so little rest time in between, you really feel the use of every muscle being engaged while you're also getting the benefits of stretching. Okay, moving into the last three exercises, we have long sit-ups plus reach. This is a core workout that also allows you to stretch your full body. What you want to do is use the momentum from your arms to sit up and reach as far as you can to your toes. You should feel the stretch in your hamstrings and in your calves and also your lower back. All right, so I had to switch locations because they had an aerobics class that was about to start. But we're gonna jump right into it. This is the plank plus calf climber. You can either start on all fours or you can use your forearms like I'm doing. But looking back on the reference video, I ended up doing these wrong too. Um, you were supposed to do, well, I was supposed to do calf climber, but I ended up doing mountain climber. Um, either way, it still was a good workout. But yeah, for reference, if you wanna go back to the video, um, you'll have a better understanding of what some of these workouts are. All right, for the last exercise, we got a running stretch to open. Uh, we used to call these Spider-Mans. They made sure they saved the best stretch for last. This is one of those stretches you're gonna feel over your entire body, but mainly in your hamstrings and it really opens up your hips. But yeah, this is the full routine that I'll do for the rest of the week. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to continue this vlog. So I just finished the workout. Um, I got some stretching in afterwards. I didn't get to record because they had a fit. They had an aerobics class come in. And I got up and left. Well, you will see in the video. I got up and um, changed location for the end of it. But now I'm about to head home, try to find something to eat. And... We'll film tomorrow session. Tomorrow morning, I plan on getting up and going running. And I'll probably just do a workout um, on the field. So, yeah. All right, it's the next day. I just pulled up to this park where I'm about to get my mile run in. Then uh, afterwards, I'll go and do my workout. I'm going to do it out here on the field somewhere. I'll just park and find somewhere to do it. Um, yeah, it's currently 7, 10 p.m. Um, I wanted to come early this morning, but... That didn't happen, so I had to come later. It was too hot to come in in the evening time. But yeah, let's get this mile in, and I'll be back. I wake up, I don't run or make my bed. I'll save up all my energy instead. You take up all the energy I have inside. And I can't find a way to just ignore it. And I can't really take it anymore Cause I can't stop you from running around through my mind Won't stop running, never will I'll take some melatonin pills this time Cause I just wanna sleep tonight Yeah, I just wanna sleep But lately I've been sleeping way too much Cause baby, I've been dreaming about us And I can't help but wish that all my dreams came true But I'm not ever wishing
touching on a star that galaxies won't make you change your heart won't make it any easier for me to stop dreaming about you so i've been getting bags under my eyes cause i've been staying up too late at night just writing all my feelings out on this page Deciding whether I should just confess or hide it to myself is for the best. All right, so it's Wednesday. I'm still trying to, y'all gotta bear with me because I'm still trying to figure out how I want to shoot my content. Uh, well, in, in, like in this video, I don't know if I want to just show y'all straight um, workout routines from Wednesday, from Saturday to Saturday, or if I want to incorporate more lifestyle footage. I'm, I'm still trying to uh, figure that out. But anyway, it's Wednesday. I already took my pre-workout. Uh, about to get into this active recovery workout. I've been doing it all week. I feel good. My body feels good. Um, uh, three days in, I kind of noticed a difference as far as like my body loosening up. Um, obviously, it's going to take more than one week to feel the benefits of it but I'm liking it so far. Also, it's starting to feel like a real workout, um, especially when I do like the, the figure four, that's what it's called, it's called the figure four. So whenever I do those, my shoulders are starting to like really like um, engage. But yeah, let's get this workout in. Today currently Friday. Uh, I missed my Thursday workout. I was starting to have like some lower back pain and I don't know where it came from. It kind of came out of nowhere really. So I took Thursday off. I'm gonna go today though. Um, I'm doing laundry right now. But I wanna jump on here and say, I know it's a lot of people who's feeling like discouraged and kind of get down on themselves in the beginning process when they start their um, fitness journey. This isn't something that's gonna happen overnight. So if you feeling if you feeling discouraged and you feeling like you not motivated or don't have like the courage to to work out in a gym that's full of people that's maybe um, you feel like they in a position to where they are more knowledgeable and know no more information about what they're doing and you just lack confidence, just understand that it's gonna get better. Me personally, I wasn't the most fit guy. I'm still going through the beginning stages myself. I don't know everything in the gym. I, I probably would never know everything, but that's not really the goal. The goal is to, to build better habits, build better discipline. At least for me personally, these are my personal goals, to build better discipline um, in everyday life. And I feel like the gym is like one of the best things to get yourself involved in when it comes to discipline. Like I said, I took Thursday off, and I feel like that is still a form of discipline because I noticed something that was going on with my body that I didn't feel comfortable with. And I just didn't want to take the time and uh, add no extra stress to it. So what I did was I took time off. Taking time off can also be beneficial for you, for your routine. Rest is like the main key to working out. Like you got to get your rest in. But understand if you're feeling discouraged, there's a lot of people there with you. And, it, and and that time will pass as long as you continue to show up for yourself. Ain't nobody gonna ain't nobody gonna do it for you. It's something that you gotta do. It's a, it's a journey. That's what it is. It's something that you gotta do. It's a learning process. The, the things that you see the people in the gym doing, they had to get there some way. You know what I'm saying? They was a beginner at one point in time, just like you are right now. So my advice is just keep going, keep adding things to your regimen, regardless of what it is, whether it's getting better sleep, figuring out what it is you want to do figuring out what it is you like in the gym and adding that to your 
because look, everybody journey ain't gonna be the same. Everybody goals aren't the same. We have different body types and the things that I eat may not affect me how it will affect you and so forth, so on. Like the things you may eat might not affect me. So we can't necessarily go off of what everybody else do. Just do you and figure out what it is you like. And that's my rant for the day. Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm in here doing laundry right now. Um, but once I leave here, I'm gonna go back and get on my computer. I got some t-shirts and stuff that I gotta continue to work on. But after that, I'm going to the gym and getting this workout in. My back is still tight, but regardless, I took yesterday off, so I'm, I don't like taking two days off in a row. So we're gonna go and we're gonna get this workout in.